Hi everyone, welcome to Mrs. Diva's Facebook page and I am here today. So I'll wait for a few seconds so that we have some people joining in and then we would start with the session. So Mrs. Diva is a, an initiative by Asta Jain as we already know her. Uh, she is an amazing business coach for women entrepreneurs and she also helps people in growing their business. She is a work from home expert and uh, she helps a lot of housewives and uh, women uh, moms basically become financially stable, financially independent. So uh, that's what Mrs. Diva and I hope you all know about Mrs. Diva. So that's a little introdu introduction about it. And uh, I'm here today myself, Harbina. Uh, you all know me till now. Some people know me, some people do not know me. For people who know me, they know me as uh, the founder of uh, the brand House of Mist. But today I'm going to bring up another side of myself, uh, which is being a designer. And that is why we are all here today talking about uh, design as a viable career option for women. So hi, Shruti. Hi Kaveri, thank you so much. Hi Vinisha, thanks for joining. Hi Meena, thank you so much for joining. Hi Asta, thank you so much. First of all, I would like to thank Asta for giving me this opportunity to come up over here and talk about this uh, very important topic that I really wanted to communicate to a lot of people. So uh, what actually design is, how you can uh, go get into the field, how you can pursue it, what it really means. So uh, that's really what we're going to talk about today. So uh, thanks to everybody for joining. Hi Meena, thank you so much. Hi Smriti, thanks for joining. So uh, uh, I'll give a little history about myself. I did my bachelor's in design from uh, the National Institute of Fashion Technology in New Delhi. I uh, did bachelor's in design and my specialization was fashion and lifestyle accessories. And then uh, further to that, I pursued, uh, I worked for uh, some years in an interior design firm. I learned about the industry and I understood how it works. And then further, I went on to taking up a master's degree, which I am currently pursuing from Pearl Academy. And the degree is about interior design and styling. So uh, thanks to everybody who have joined. Hi, Kavita. Hi, Pooja. Thank you for joining. Hi, Sunita. So uh, the uh, main first thing that I wanted to really talk about over here is what are the misconceptions about design? Because whenever we talk about designing, uh, the first thing that comes to our mind is designing means drawing or designing means sketching or designing means painting. Uh, so that's a big myth that I really want to break over here. And I wanted to talk about this from a long time. So uh, the first misconception is obviously designing is drawing, but that is not, uh, that's not just drawing. Designing is a big world. Design is everything. So uh, I would like to tell you that drawing is one of the ways of expressing your design, but design has a million different ways of expression. So you can express your design via graphics, via photography, via fashion styling, uh, via uh, videography, via lettering, via drawing, and then poetry, music, everything that you see around is design. So design is not just drawing or sketching. So that's a big misconception that is there in everyone's mind. So I would like to tell you all that uh, don't think that if you're going into a design field, you have to sketch every time or you have to draw every time. There are many designers who don't know sketching, who do not know drawing, but they are amazing designers. The reason is that design is not just drawing. It's a big term. And that's what we would be talking about uh, further to this uh, point. So the second point that I have over here is, uh, there's a big misconception that designing is a very small field or it's a very easy, easy field to take up. So I would like to say that it's not an easy field at all, especially when I did my uh, schooling and I went to my college. I did four years of bachelor's degree. It was not an easy uh, course. It, 
it took me sleepless nights it took me hours and hours to work on projects i used to work for full nights and complete my assignments and give them and think creatively every time even if you are tired even if you are you you are hungry you still have to work you are sitting on floor and working so design uh, i would say is not an easy field to take up it's a very difficult field and you need a lot of dedication uh, towards it so uh, that's what uh, that's the, the second uh, misconception that a lot of people have that design if we get into the design field it's an easy course that you can just pursue it and go ahead in your life so you require a lot of dedication towards it uh, so design is present everywhere you see around the clothes that you wear or uh, the gadgets that you use the accessories that you wear even the pencil that you use has designs uh, then uh, your even your mobile phones your mobile phones have uh, the user interface that is also a kind of design there is design in every aspect of life the furniture that you sit on the interior you live in uh, every little thing has design element into it and another thing is that we often uh, we often confuse design with making things look beautiful so design is also not just aesthetic design is also about how you use it so i would like to quote a quotation uh, by steve jobs uh, which is a big inspiration for all designers and entrepreneurs the quotation is uh, like design is not just what it looks like and feels like design is how it works so uh, design is present everywhere if you're wearing a beautiful dress if it doesn't fit you well if you are not comfortable wearing it it will not make any sense so uh, we often confuse the word design with aesthetic with making things look beautiful with uh, thinking that uh, we can put a little design into it and it will look beautiful no design is a very big term wherein it comprises of a lot of different aspects that we need to see and designers uh, put a lot of efforts and thought process into uh, making anything so that is why you know uh, whenever you wear a comfortable uh, clothing then that's why you feel comfortable because there's a, a lot of thought process that goes on into it yes shruti i totally yes it's very important uh, this is a very important point that i really wanted to uh, you know uh, put across over here so uh, another thing is like i can give you many examples if you're using a pencil pencil is a very basic uh, uh, you know product that we start with in our life we start writing with a pencil so if you're not comfortable holding the pencil you will not get the uh, handwriting correct so you know it, it's the same thing for every product that every product comes with an aesthetic element and it comes with a user uh, element that how comfortable you are uh, while using that product so design is uh, not just about making things look beautiful it's much bigger than that so that's what i wanted to communicate then a uh, third misconception that i i have picked up uh, today over here is that uh, we often think that fashion world is very glamorous uh, definitely it is very glamorous but if we see what kind of hard work goes behind it what kind of efforts go behind it for example if we take a, a fashion show that is going to happen in any uh, in any country or in any uh, you know state in our country so every fashion show has a lot of aspects that uh, have to be taken care of before putting the the fashion show in place so for it to be successful there ha uh, there have to be you know so many things that people have to go do so many departments come together there is branding there is advertising there is clothing there is styling then uh, there is choreography there is photography there is set design how will the set look if there is some theme like we see there are such beautiful designers who uh, 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 who uh, you know launch their collections and once they launch their collections they also design the environment of the ramp show of the ramp over there 
so that is another thing uh, that has to be taken care of so i would like to say that design uh, fashion world design world definitely looks glamorous definitely looks appealing it looks like it's very fascinating but uh, it it has a lot of hard work that goes behind it which all of us need to think of all of us need to uh, see actually there are so many people who work behind it uh, there are sleepless nights that go behind every fashion show so uh, that's really something that uh, needs to be thought about and uh, a lot of people uh, work on it to achieve anything so once once anybody wants to launch their collection so one is that you're designing that entire collection be it clothing be it uh, accessories be it footwear uh, be it you know these days even uh, some designers are doing furniture uh, ramp walk furniture shows so uh, a lot goes behind it so that's what i really wanted to communicate and uh, thank you everybody for your comments and if there are any questions i will answer in between and maybe later then uh, another uh, point i have picked up for today is whenever we think of this i'm telling you from a parents perspective or uh, from a students perspective who is in school or somebody who wants to get into the design world uh, one point is that whenever we think about design as a career we always think about fashion design that is not correct because there are so many other fields that are there these days there was a time when fashion design was the only thing but now uh, there are so many more courses that can be pursued and so many more courses that have very big value that are adding so much value to the industry so uh, i would like to jot down a few uh, few fields that are there inside the the big term design so one is accessories design which i did myself so it's fashion lifestyle accessories so fashion design fashion accessories is all about jewelry handbags accessories related to the fashion field and then lifestyle accessories is particularly about your lifestyle products that uh, go on in your house all the lifestyle uh, different home decor products furniture all these things also go in an uh, inside fashion uh, lifestyle accessories so that's one field that comes under the design uh, career option and it's a wonderful field and you, anybody can pursue it then second is product design so product design is again another big field there are so many different uh, products that you can specialize in there can be furniture that can be small products that even can be industrial products so it can even be designing a toothbrush designing a pencil designing a mouse designing a gadget so every uh, product comes under product design and once you get into product design you can see what product you are really interested in and you want to pursue it further in your specialization so all the colleges that are there in india they provide uh, the facility that first you uh, come in the foundation year which is the first year you understand uh, every aspect of design and then in the second year when you go into the product design uh, specialization you really uh, you really understand what kind of a product you like to work in like when i was in my college i wanted to uh, work with handbags in particular so uh, that's how my interest developed so you know that's why all the colleges provide you the facility to see one year seeing all different different fields courses and then uh, go further with your specialization of product then third is textile design so textile design is another big field as we already know uh, we have a big affiliation which is a ministry of textiles and it really supports uh, all different projects that come under uh, textile design and textile uh, is a very important field for india as india is rich for textiles so if you're really interested in learning about fabric learning about prints learning about how embellishments on fabric happen 
how you can uh, get into uh, making uh, different kind of products using fabric so that's what comes under textile design and uh, even if, when you are studying textile design you can even further decide if you want to go into the field of fashion textiles or you want to go into the field of home textiles so that is also a, a bifurcation and uh, there is so much flexibility in the field that you can choose yourself where you want to go how, what you want to pursue because design is a field which is very passionate which needs to be uh, which needs to come from within which you should know what you want to do so you need to connect to your products so textile design is about fabrics then there is leather design so leather design really uh, as the word, uh, word says leather it's really about leather completely about leather so they will teach you every aspect about leather how it is made how you have to use it you will actually get to work with the material so with design colleges in our country uh, we really get to work with all the materials in our hand and uh, being in uh, you know different metropolitan cities we get different different materials and we get hands on knowledge as well so uh, the field is not about reading books or uh, having some kind of fixed uh, syllabus it is always about project it is always about what kind of a project you are doing what how you are exploring it what kind of materials you are picking up and how you are making things from them and uh, even in colleges uh, in india the uh, people actually uh, the professors and teachers actually help you in a way that they will sit with you tell you how to stitch something tell you how to use different tools there are labs there is a lot of facility and infrastructure in our country so the field has really big scope in the future so that's about leather design then moving on there is knitwear design knitwear is all about knits it's all about how your fabric is made it is quite related to textiles but textiles is a wider term to use and knitwear becomes very specific when it comes to uh, you know uh, talking about knitted products so there are people who particularly have interest in knitted products so uh, that's the field uh, that that this field knitwear design really teaches you about all products related to knitwear and uh, knitted fabrics and knitted products so uh, there is so much specialization of every uh, different uh, fabric every different product that you can uh, really take up and see what your in where your interest lies then there is fashion communication that is another big field uh, that is very important at this moment like we see that we are all sitting at home we might not buy clothes but fa fashion communication advertisements branding of your products everything is so important at this moment so fashion communication really comes in place where uh, advertisements work where brands are keeping their presence like we see a different 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 companies at this moment are changing their logos and making them more uh, compatible with the kind of situation we are in and showing social distancing by changing their logos so that's where uh, really fashion communication branding design graphic design these kind of fields come in place so uh, again coming back to my point that design is everywhere it is everywhere and uh, we are all surrounded with it at every moment then um, there is a uh, photography that is another big field at this moment in our country and even in other countries i'm talking particularly about our country over here because uh, we are living here and i feel all the people who have joined over here are from uh, our country only and i want to communicate all the points uh, over here to them then photography is definitely a very big field it's a it's a it's a thing that uh, everybody loves to do and there are people who have now finally professionally taken up photography as a career 
and there was a time when uh, we never heard about uh, pre wedding shoots we did not know about landscape photography we did not know about travel bloggers we did not know about food bloggers where did it come from it came from people who lo love photography who love to explore so uh, this is a, actually a course uh, which comes under fashion communication only but it's a very big field to uh, learn and explore which comes under the design uh, design career uh, only then coming on to transportation design transportation design is all about uh, automobiles it's all about your uh, trucks cars uh, all the movable uh, cars and everything that we have so transportation design is all about that then interior design interior design is a very big field again because all of us are living at our homes uh, we are going to cafes we are going to hotels wherever we go we are living in an interior so interior is a very big field uh, to explore and um, it has great scope in our country then it comes uh, also comes under the design career option then there is furniture design so furniture design there are people who particularly are interested in learning furniture learning about how you design furniture so again coming back to the point that furniture is not just aesthetic design is not just about aesthetically pleasing products it's also about the comfort if you're sitting on a chair and you are not comfortable sitting on it you will uh, get get off it after 5 minutes after 2 minutes you will not feel comfortable so furniture design is one big field uh, that we are actually surrounded with all the time and is a very big field in in uh, the design career options then there is user interface and user experience design which is about uh, your mobile phones the kind of user interface it has it's about your gadgets it's about your laptops it's all about the digital uh, digital platforms that we have so all of them have a certain user interface it's all about the apps that we work with so that is another career option that uh, is quite highly paid as well Uh, and it's a very good field to explore if you have interest in graphics you have interest in coding you have interest in getting into uh, the digital world the virtual world that we are all living with, living in then uh, visual merchandising that's my last uh, point over here visual merchandising is uh, another field and visual merchandising is all about uh, the showrooms that we visit to how the store would look how all the products would be placed what would be the window display uh, what is a window display window display when we uh, whenever we go to any sh uh, showroom like for example we go to shop or stop there is a window outside and we see uh, some kind of a theme going on over there or every festival has a different theme and they put up some different uh, kind of uh, look over there so uh, visual merchandising does that so visual merchandisers come in place and they uh, really uh, put a lot of efforts into designing entire stores so visual merchandising is particularly about designing stores designing how things would be kept in store how would things come to the store how will it work uh how will the billing of the product happen how will the counters look everything it's quite related to the interior design but visual merchandises visual merchandising is a separate field on its own so these are certain fields uh that are there and there are much more as well because there is no end to the design world and there are a lot of people there are a lot of innovations as well happening these days so universities are coming up with very different uh, courses all together then coming on to i would like to uh, uh, pick over here three universities that are providing different different courses and there are many more as well but these are the three best universities in our country so the first is uh, national institute of design which is nid it is a, a very prestigious university then there is nift which is national In institute of fashion technology that is another university which is uh, 
have which has a very good rank uh, in the fashion uh, design in the design courses list then there is pearl academy so there are these three universities and then there are more as well if anybody wants to get into the depth and wants to know if there is some particular course that they are looking for they can definitely connect with me on that then uh, uh, one thing i really want all of you to know and understand is that if you have a talent because i know all of all the people who are over here are women are uh, based out of home or they are working from home or their housewives or our moms so if you have certain talent do not stop it over there take it forward uh, there is no age limit there is nothing take it forward in your own way when you make your work your passion uh, your you know really it really helps you to live your life uh you need to think what your passion is you need to see what comes from within you need to see you need to think you need to realize you need to really take it forward and not stop over there so if you all of you any of you uh over here is interested in art is interested in design is interested in craft is interested in making handmade products or whoever whatever you like whatever comes from within whatever comes from your heart please take it forward because that is how even you yourself will grow you will have a healthy life and the country will grow along with you because uh, that's really how all of us can uh, contribute like i myself being a designer pursuing for already uh, done one degree and pursuing another one i feel we all are listening to our hearts and we are communicating and we are taking forward things that we really like and we really want to do in our life so uh, uh yeah design is a very passionate field design is a very passionate field it requires a lot of hard work it requires consistency you need to be consistent uh, i see there are a lot of startups that uh, in design field only they start and uh you know in uh one month two months they do not see results and they shut it off so why no put hard work put uh, a lot of efforts feel your work uh this is how it goes your time is limited so don't waste it living someone else's life don't be trapped by hello uh sorry there was some internet connection so uh, i'll uh, repeat the quote that i was saying your time is limited so don't waste it living someone else's life don't be trapped by dogma which is living with the results of others thinking don't let the noise of others opinion drown out your own inner voice and most importantly have the courage to follow your own heart and intuition so that's how i would end the session and uh, one last thing that i would put across is if anybody over here requires any help on learning the softwares or wants to understand as or is having any technical difficulties regarding creating any posters or creatives or wants to learn any particular software you can always connect to me there is my facebook uh, page link over here you can connect with me and uh, we can arrange a workshop for you as i have been conducting some workshops and uh, we can always arrange a session for you and we can uh, teach you whatever software you want so thanks a lot and thanks a lot astha for uh, giving me such a wonderful opportunity i really wanted to communicate all these points from a long time and i feel this is the best platform for me to communicate them thank you so much bye everyone